Hey, what's up guys? My name is Suffy. Welcome back to my channel. Yo, with the boogalays, yo. Today, once again, we're gonna be doing something different. Some of you might know, or many of you might know who are watching this video, that the Hogwarts Legacy Gameplay Showcase uh, came out yesterday. Um, and uh, I've seen so many, so many people kind of, you know, reacting to it. Uh, and I was like, you know, might as well do it, you know, you know, might as well see what's all about. I'm not a, I, I, I don't want to say that I'm not a Harry Potter fan, but I wasn't a Harry Potter fan until very recently. Uh, my wife is a huge fan. She's a huge, huge fan. She made me kind of, you know, uh, do a whole Harry Potter uh, marathon with her, uh, about a couple months ago. And I loved it. I loved it. Like, honestly, like I, I, if you guys haven't seen it, uh, I'm not going to say anything, but definitely, definitely go watch it. I'm probably super late on it. Um, you guys are probably like, yo, like that, how has this man not watched Harry Potter yet? But anyways, um, after the movie, I, I, I saw like a snippet, um, of some, some sort of game coming out. Um, back then it looked really cool. Uh, it was just, it was just, you know, a few second clip. It was, it was more like a teaser. Uh, but I'm really excited that the actual gameplay, uh, they're, they're, they're going to be actually, uh, showcasing the gameplay in the video that we're going to be watching. So please stick around, hang tight. And let's get the show on the road, yo. All right, here we go, man. Oh my God. All right, gotta make sure the volume is on. Oh my God. Oh, gotta get my glasses on, yo. What am I doing, what am I doing, what am I doing? Oh man, oh man, I am excited. This is crazy. I, 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 I don't think anything like this has ever happened. Um, yeah, like this is like, I feel like this is unheard of. Like, you know, having like a, like an RPG Harry Potter open world kind of game. I'm assuming it's open world because that's kind of what I hey it seemed like Welcome from the, to the snippet. Hogwarts Legacy gameplay showcase. I'm Chandler Wood, community manager All right. here at Avalanche Software, and I'm honored to introduce you to our panel today. First up, we have community guest host, Ben Snow. Oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> and from the Avalanche team, we have game director, Alan Tu. Hello, everybody. And systems designer, Mackenzie Toner. Hi. And finally, just off screen, capturing gameplay for us, Andrew Corum. <laughs> hey, just sneak it in. The open world via broom flight. It's open world. world. Okay, I was right. I was right. Dark Arts Battle Arena, and a look at your personalizable home within Hogwarts, the Room of Requirement. Battle Arena. Where you may even see some beasts. And we're starting right where we left off in our last gameplay showcase, just outside Hogwarts, which I I love that we can you can walk out of the castle after w walking this through everything, so cool. and then just come out here and take off on your broom out into the open world. And Alan, I know that's something that you particularly like about yeah. Hogwarts Legacy too. Yeah, I, this I'm, reminds I'm, me of I'm a big fan of uh, just being able to. Pop. I'm gonna pause real quick. This kind of reminds me when I see this. Like immediately, I'm thinking like games like Skyrim. I know Skyrim and all those games are like kind of first person, but like there, there was like a third person mode kind of thing. But it's kind of that's like the first kind of uh, thing that hits me. It's like they adapted that kind of uh, immersion of the game into the Harry Potter universe. So I think that's really cool. Up on the broom and, and go anywhere. There's something about kind of like the, the sensation of, of everything being open to you. And just, I love the proximity that I can get to things. I love flying close to the ground. And and I I, I kind of wanted to talk about this it just because so cool. I feel like, um, you know, the brooms are fun for me <laughs> not just because of all those feelings of exhilaration, but, but because they're not just, I have a broom and it's done. Uh, I actually kind of like some of the mechanics in it. So you can, you see in the lower right, there's a meter there, and and occasionally, as Andrew's kind of flying up or flying down, you might notice it it draining or not. And and this isn't well, the meter present day where all the broom technology is well known and advanced and 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 everything that we know and love. This is an earlier time where they're still trying to figure out. You know, we're not at the three thousand yet. We're at the like, <laughs> we're at the eleven. So oh my goodness, I just I'm just so <laughs> speechless right now because this is just so beautiful. The world just looks so. By the way, the the broom is that like the only one, or can you like upgrade the broom? Yeah, so we have uh, 
shop in Hogsmeade, actually a broom oh. shop. And so that sells a variety oh, wow. of different brooms. And it was important to us that the player could customize themselves based on their own aesthetic. So they're purely cosmetic, but uh, if you talk to the shopkeep uh, and help him out, he'll actually sell upgrades. Yeah, That's those, pretty those cool. upgrades will Gotta make admit. it so that where normally the broom, you can only fly, um, you can only go at max speed. It's kind of like a turbo meter down there. You can only go at max speed without the meter going down, kind of closer to the ground. And as you raise into the air, you'll notice the meter drop. And so those upgrades will allow you to... I see now. Okay, okay, from the okay. Ground. And the, I, 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 uh, I the couldn't see the meter before. At, at the sporting goods store in, in Hogsmeade is trying to perfect the broom and get better at it and, and know it better. And you can participate that and get better and better brooms through that. <laughs> and I, I love that that mechanic encourages you to actually explore the world and kind of stay close to the ground. It's not just a travel mechanic, point A to point B. You're not just flying high over everything, although it is beautiful, something I really love doing, but as well, there's lots to lots to explore on the ground, and so kind of keeping you down at the ground level. And to me, it feels like it's got this kind of surfing vibe over the... Yeah. Over <laughs> oh my God, the like, I'm just like, <laughs> I want to snatch the controller from Andrew right now because I want to go to the mountaintop, I'm going to go to that forest, and to that hamlet, or... Well, well, like, Honestly, I well like what do you say? I definitely feel that I love, at least from what I'm seeing, I I I love the mechanics of the broom. Like it it just it just looks smooth. It 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 looks nice. Um, it it just looks really well done. And and I think like the guy saying like it it just it just feels like I just want to grab the controller and just pull, you know play the game right now. Like it honestly it it, it looks really good so far. I, I don't know. That's how it's called. <laughs> I think that's what it is. No, no it's awesome. But we're. Well, we're gonna. We're actually gonna land here, and I. I feel like. I feel like that you call it a hamlet <laughs> is 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 just perfect, just because that's what we refer to it as. <laughs> and so, uh, we all know from lore that Hogsmeade is the only all wizarding village within Britain. But we wanted other opportunities to kind of meet other characters out here mm -hmm. and to kind of populate the landscape, so it's not just kind of, you know, barren as you leave out this direction and that mm -hmm. direction. And so we just imagine these different dwellings, these different smaller locations that that wizards might live in. Out okay, uh, as I said, I I'm kind of new to the whole Harry Potter thing. I did the whole marathon binge. Um, Hogsmeade rings a bell, but if you guys want to put it in the comments below, I, I'm assuming it's the bar, uh, kind of, I guess, uh, featured in the film a few times where they kind of go there to like drink and stuff. But I'm not 100% sure, so I, I'm probably going to look it up after the video, but like, um, yeah, I mean, if you guys can just put in the comments and just clarify that for me, that'd be, that'd be amazing. In the because they just mentioned, mentioned it a few and so times. It's those, uh, and so we refer to those as Hamlets, and they're opportunities to learn those wizard stories, um, how those different locations have kind of like learned to live, what their relationships are with characters at Hogsmeade and Hogwarts. And so they're both quest opportunities out here and a chance to kind of get to know more of the area, even beyond Hogwarts and Hogsmeade that we've already experienced. And you'll also notice on the mini map, like lots of little icons. Oh wait, is Hogsmeade? Okay, so I'm, I might, I, so is, Hog, is Hogsmeade, it's, you know, from the perspective of the movies, is that the place they kind of go shopping before heading to Hogwarts for that year? Is, is it like that street where they have all those stores? Uh, like put in the comments below. Uh, if, 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 if I'm like on point or if I'm completely off and I'm just insane and lost my mind. Thanks guys. And each one of those represents gameplay in, in the Hamlets that you can participate in. You know, whether it's a vendor or different puzzles and challenges or different secrets that exist. Um, each one of those icons are different opportunities for gameplay. And you'll notice that, that same thing as we venture out into the open world as well. So when you go out into the open world and you see, see those icons, whether they're on the mini map or on your map or off in the distance, those things are opportunities to say, like, I want to increase my inventory capacity. There are puzzles left behind by old wizards, you know, that you can solve that actually grant you those. Uh, if you see ruins off in the off in the distance and you visit them, you might find opportunities to actually expand and learn about your ancient magic. And as you and as you kind of encounter different enemies in cool. the landscape, sometimes those characters, uh, poachers or dark wizards, might be hoarding different uh, magical resources that are valuable to you as you're playing the game. So <laughs> the man's like, like, yo, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just dropping real quick. Different opportunities that just kind of reward you for poking around. Them. I mean, I right away when I want to just cover all of those <laughs> points on the map. That's really cool. So like Hamlet's, I, I, so I'm assuming that when he mentions Hamlet, he's, it's kind of like quests or like side quests. Uh, I mean, obviously, Hamlet is, is like a player, right? So, so I'm assuming he's like kind of using that reference to mean like 
like quests or like you know things that you can kind of do to like i guess increase or up upgrade your character well, well we've flown on a broom already but there is something that we haven't that's done so cool though like, that they, they, they uh, did this like they mount. Um, we're gonna hop they converted the Harry Potter universe into a game is our where you can kind of personalize oh it, God, kind of, just, like, pops out of the, and kind of experience the, oh, wait, the story or the universe like yourself. I think it's pretty amazing. It's an yeah, awesome concept. Um, as a hippogriff, you can you that's can so cool. Ride it like a ground mount, and you can lift off into the air. And hippogriff, that's what that it is. Each, each, each of those interactions. So the broom's really good at reaching that top speed at at kind of traveling the world as quickly as possible. But sometimes it's really nice to get on the Hippogriff because of that ground speed uh, or those transitions. Uh, and sometimes it just feels amazing just to be riding around on a Hippogriff. <laughs> okay. it's, yeah, it's, it's it really This game is, is so like beautiful. A, like, I don't know, it's a great feeling being on it. And it's a great feeling managing those transitions, kind of going from run to fly. And just yeah, it is, hell yeah. And we tried to make sure that that though that each one of these things that you can interact this with this is so this is so cool this things. is so cool <laughs> and oh my god like i see like different like areas like a like, swampy area by the way can you go to like entire map Whoa. anywhere you know there are regions that are like blocked from you yeah as soon like... as as soon as you there's kind of a moment where the world kind of opens up to you outside That's of a good question. As a student and right from that moment uh, early on in the game you can go wherever you want and so you might find more difficult challenges in different areas and it feels like a scary kind of place Andrew's moving around a lot of dark wizards like, probably hang out um, to be honest there, we have got like a coast and we've got different types of environments out in the world just to kind of uh, pepper your experience, so reward cool. you for exploring, keep things fresh. Uh, all those things exist as we're moving around. So cool. And I love that windmill. It's like so rustic. Like I keep forgetting that this is like 1800s. The Wizarding World we've never really seen before. Like it feels so authentic. Like it just, it, it, it's part of it. Yeah, I, I love this Vista too. And, and I'm going to have Andrew stop here. We're going to use a bit of dev magic to uh, change the seasons, actually. I want to see. I want you to see what this world looks like. Uh, with mm, dev magic. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, please. I love stuff. Yo, that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, are they, what are they doing? <laughs> what are they doing? Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> it looks so realistic. Oh That's God, crazy. The landscape like completely. Oh my God. Does it have like actual like gameplay impact? Like impact on the gameplay? Or does it like, it's just the weather of Scotland? That's so uh, cool. Yeah, we use it, That's a good we question. We really use it as a narrative marker through, through the game. So <laughs> as you're progressing through your main storyline, it was important for us to kind of like have those moments that kind of felt like when you're reading the books or watching the movies where you know you'll see kind of like the title card winter and, <laughs> and now the landscape has changed and, and you're really feeling those that passage of time while you're a student that's pretty know, cool because yeah that is kind of what happened in the movies right and i think I think like part of the movie was like you know just like for me, i guess really you call it kind of like you know on the outside, summer or spring which, and then which i, I agree, it'd be winter like you know <laughs> really beautiful um but within the school as well that's so, so cool there are moments like when it reaches certain holidays or things like that where hogsmeade oh, uh, reacts oh to holidays God. and the school reacts to holidays and you see the decorations around those i guess I get a, a good question that i would have is like how long does it take for that transition of um seasons to happen in the game like is it scaled and like what's the scale like like obviously it's not going to take a whole year to transition right like you want the gamer uh, or the user to experience um, that transition in a realistic time frame. So I, this, this is, uh, it just makes me curious, like, you know, what kind of, what kind of scale do the user and how fast do those season transi seasonal transitions happen? Environments change. Um, nice. That really helped just kind of make me feel like I'm there. Right. Yeah. And, and it's not just, uh, it's not just, you know, for the seasons, those, those kind of- Honestly, things, it does, yeah. Cause um, that's what happens in the like movies. Like, you know, obviously, cycle, by the way, it, even I'm gonna put a like disclaimer in the, in, in the beginning of the video before I post this, but uh, this is definitely gonna have spoilers because I'm definitely gonna make references. Down and quiets down, just, oh, I mean, there's right, just yeah. candlelight and students kind of like as you're walking through the halls. But in that day night cycle is where we've kind of placed uh, a few items where. But then know, again, if, you, if you're watching this video, then you're probably already seen the movies and you're not like me where you're super late to everything. I love Andrew's flying up here, really high up on the hippogriff. 
and, and we're just looking at this view of Hogwarts in the distance. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's part of what I love most about flying around in this game, whether it's on a hippogriff or, or, or on the broom. That, you know, yeah, I, that is I mean, so you're talking beautiful. about going anywhere and things that you can see in the distance, and that's one of my... I, I still can't get over, like, no matter... I play this so much, but I still, I still can't get over the fact that I can see Hogwarts out there, and there's just something beautiful about knowing that all of, all of the things inside of it, the classrooms, the students, the professors, um, all the places I can go, I can just fly my. Sorry, I think my job just in the court has yard, been dropped for like a few doors, seconds there. It just, just, walk, you know, it just looks fantastic. To greenhouse or to my common room, that it's all contiguous and just kind of like one, one space. It's just so it's like it's actually. so mesmerizing, I mean, just, like the game, like it's so I'm beautiful, it's so right well now, made. It's absolutely beautiful. It's just, <laughs> Even like the interface, I, 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 I just really love it. A lot more time out here, just flying around, experiencing the world. Uh, I think yeah, it's this really is a pretty. great opportunity to switch over to combat. And last time we gave you kind of a, an intro to combat. This time we're going to really go uh, a oh, lot more first. of a deep hey, dive. Hey, let's go, and, let's uh, go. Using the Dark Arts Battle Arena, which is part of our Deluxe Edition. All right, Andrew's got us in the Forbidden Forest, which is where the Dark Arts Battle Arena is. Uh, hmm. which is part of the Deluxe and Digital Deluxe Edition. I, I, I love the way that the Dark Arts Battle Arena wow. is actually uh, part of the world. It's integrated into the world, so your experience is more immersive than just choosing an option from, from the main menu of the game or something like that. Reason to go to the Forbidden Forest. Exactly. <laughs> there, there are many reasons to go to the Forbidden Forest, but uh, he's also wearing the... Uh, so maybe you can, like, travel to it, kind set. of. And, you can, like, uh, travel to the Dark uh, Arena set, just, like, just kind of, that's what he's saying. saying. Part of that dark arts pack from the deluxe and digital deluxe edition. So we're going full, full Yo, dark arts. Yo, the Thestral, uh, bro. That's good. That's what I'm doing. Now. Honestly, I loved but it I when like they introduced this, uh, it. Like arena, it only Luna could like you know, could like see um, the, really the Thestrals, but like it was really cool. That's like a super cool concept that the for you and, kinda, and allows you to, to uh, really play around displayed, with uh, combat or illustrated. In, a, in a deep way. And is this like the only arena like this in the game where you can like practice? And yeah. Do so in the in the base game, we have. Uh, two combat arenas normally that and so everyone has access to those and each of the hey guys thank you for watching the video unfortunately i'm gonna have to stop it right there i'm definitely gonna go back and watch the entire video on my own and possibly do a reaction for the rest of the video um but thank you for your time thank you for watching please let me know what you thought of my what well, you thought of my thoughts and my reactions uh of the game um i'm so super excited about for, for this game to come out i don't know these the exact date um if you guys know, please put in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, follow, hit the bell. Um, do everything that YouTube asks you to do. And let me know in the comments as well what else you'd like for me to react to. I love you guys. And see you guys next time. Peace.